so this is how we left the boats because we knew it was supposed to rain today so the cockpit being upside down could still dry out even as it rained now we're getting ready for Nicholas to paint the inside of all that new fabric he just put down and one of the tricks that's the same roller I've been using for a couple of years now when I'm done I just set them back in the paint bucket take the handle off obviously and it's ready to go the next time so next time you pull it out put it on your tray and you're good to go so Nicholas here is now at the point he has this side of the cockpit extension uh, covered with fabric and the thing to remember is for these edges you don't want to put glue there you want to leave that so that it's free and that will be glued down with paint and then what he's doing on this side is he's preparing we've already measured out and cut our next piece of fabric and he's preparing the glue just catch all those runs Nick and make sure you get it good up underneath the rail it'll be easier to see what you're doing from this side <clears throat> so now he's laying on his glue and the next thing we'll do is lay the fabric in and the glue is also the way to go for attaching the fabric to wood which this is plywood rails you want to make sure you paint the edges of your plywood really well with the glue it will wick into the plywood and help preserve it so it won't delaminate <clears throat> this is uh we use patriot timbers sure ply which it's an interior luon but it actually has a glue that is waterproof unlike most of the luon underlayment stuff you're going to find this is meant for like bathrooms and kitchens so they they use a fairly decent glue for sticking it all together because it is going to be in more wet locations but really it should have like linoleum or vinyl over it so it won't really see that much in the way of yeah you just want the glue on the edge of the wood and any bare foam yeah like that we'll fill that this little void right there on the rail where we strip the fabric away and then all the way up to the front of your plywood up there too where that splice plate is and the whole face of the plywood and then we'll be laying the fabric on next and then we've got more stuff to do here on the back from when i had to move that bulkhead um and the hatch when i cut it i had to actually splice a new piece of foam in. so there'll be a piece of fabric coming down over all that too and then whenever this is cured maybe tomorrow if we get to it we will paint the fabric and we'll paint all the edges and they will be glued together with paint that's the design accomplished okay so getting into painting the fabric for large areas like this the roller is the thing to use but for all your edges mm -hmm. this little one inch chip brush is what you're going to use and you use paint to glue these down so you'll take yeah good bit of paint and you want to paint underneath and this canvas is going to soak up the paint so you're going to have to you lay it in it. thick along this Why edge. Did you use this thing? Well what I'm saying is for these edges you use yeah. the brush because you can work it in better. Uh -huh. The roller is for covering large area like here. So like that and then I want to make sure it's good and saturated. And then you'll paint it down. And you even want to paint the edge of the fabric here. Once this dries, this will be glued very securely mm -hmm. to the other paint. Paint sticks to itself the best. Glue sticks other things together what I've found. Now some people might say they have a different way of doing it but that's how I do it. So just go all the way along your seam like that and see you want this edge like that so that this paint all the way up it so and wet like runny paint. 
not just a little yeah. bit. So that the whole seam is wet. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And then use the brush to stick it down. You can use the roller too, I'm just showing you because some of these things you are gonna have to use the brush. Are there special gloves you can wear for paddling? There's all different types. People wear weightlifting gloves or one that many people find is very helpful to them. Oh, because I'm sick of having to scrape off calluses and stuff. No, it won't kill you. It hurts though. <laughs> See that lifting? Pack some more underneath it. And then you want to do the same for all these, this fabric as well. All these seams, you want to lift it uh -huh. and put paint just like that so go ahead all the way around and then you'll use the roller afterwards to saturate everything very well let's see what we're getting okay we got Nick's shoulder not really showing too much so let's move it over here but do you do we like not so, wear bases on the internet or something no I'm trying to show what you're actually doing oh okay so yeah, paint it, but keep going all the way along the seam first. Make sure any place that's loose you can lift that you've got paint underneath. Is this recording right now? It is recording right now, because okay. I'm showing what you're doing. Okay. Okay, so just do that underneath all those seams, and make sure it's not folded. Like, see there's a fold right there? You're gonna wanna help pull that out. You can, yeah, you can do it with the gloves. No, we're still there. There it is. Now you get that. Yeah. But first paint the seam before you push down, push up, and make sure underneath is saturated well too. This is one where the more paint you can get on, the better. There's no such thing as a run coat. <laughs> okay then. So, go ahead. And then once you have all your edges painted down, so that everything is glued in place. Got a wrinkle right there. Yeah, I know. Well, no. It would bug me if it was my kayak. I would want it flattened out like that along the edge. Okay, go ahead and just roll it. That's a that's that's one you didn't get. You gotta tuck a bunch more paint up under there. You, you missed that edge, that's why it's like this. I didn't catch that. Those are the type of things that will catch like, your feet or whatever and your barefoot. But yeah, you just roll. And with the canvas, you're going to have to roll a couple times to see how fast this is already getting dry spots. You don't keep spreading. Get more paint. Get more paint all the time. Get more paint. Put the rest of the bucket in here. Hopefully, this will be enough. Because you just want to. You're not filling it entirely because this canvas actually is the best anti-skid in the world when it's not entirely saturated. But you want to get it as close to saturated as you can. And just watch it when you're along the edges because the roller will sometimes pull the fabric. But that's how you want to do that to get as much as possible. 